Hi, I'm Savage Jim, and I have here a uh, Troy built four stroke uh, weed eater. And uh, I bought this at a, a local used store, and it says it's as is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart and find out exactly what's wrong with it. Okay, I now have it apart. I've taken off the uh, the shroud, the plastic shroud that goes up over here, and I'm going to have a look at the uh, the valves real quickly. I need to get this uh, I need to get this front shroud, plastic shrouding off, so I can get at the magneto and uh, look at the wiring and make sure that thing is uh, able to generate a spark. Uh, so that would be my next step: is to actually go in with a T15 screwdriver. It's a Torx T15 screwdriver. I'm going to have to put it into here. And I'm going to have to hold the piston down. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use a rope trick in which I take off the spark plug. Just like this. And I'm going to apply a bit of rope down into the spark plug hole and uh, use that as a piston stop so I could uh, untwist the uh, flywheel nut and get that off so I could get this front shroud off. I'm going to pause while I do that for a second. Before I actually take off the flywheel, what I wanted to do is also show real quickly the uh, uh, the uh, overhead valve uh, actuation on this thing. What I'll need to do to get uh, to have a peek at the valves, I do want to have a look at those and make sure that they are actuating and working properly. I will need a T25 Torx screwdriver to undo this nut over here over the valve cover. It's kind of loose, so that's not necessarily good. I'll probably have to get a new gasket for that valve cover. I think it's in poor shape. So let's pull that off. Here we are. You can see the valves. Uh, two valves on the cylinder head here. Overhead valve uh, assembly. As I pull up on the crank, on the pull cord, uh, I'm trying to hold it steady to where you can see the actuation of the valves, but it's hard to do this. Okay, there, that's a better shot. Well, the valves look like they're working properly, uh, so let's go ahead and proceed to the next step and uh, have a look at the magneto. To this next step, what I did is I uh, already loosened up this other uh, plastic shrouding that goes in front of this red shroud and uh, it is held together with four T20 bolts right here on the four corners. Just simply loosen those and this comes off. That exposes your clutch bell. I did uh, put the uh, valve cover back on and just uh, simply uh, finger tighten the screw on to uh, keep the oil that may seep out from the top from uh, falling out and uh, making a mess on your work area. And uh, what you do now to do the rope trick to uh, lock the piston down is just uh, take you some uh, regular old twine rope that you could get anywhere from uh, you know your uh, local hardware store. Slip it into the hole back here. This is the spark plug hole where it's going. Push it on in and uh, give a tug on the, well, just a slight pull on the chain or the starting cord. Uh, to make sure that the piston is up against the cord and it's locked pretty tight. Next thing you do is you'll have to take your T15. Uh, let me get that screwdriver. Here it is. There's a T15 screwdriver. And now you'll have to simply turn it counterclockwise to loosen. If you need an assistance of a wrench, I use this, uh, this uh, crescent. <laughs> and there it is. It's broken. And simply take that T15 screw that is holding down uh, the, the clutch bell straight out. There it is. There's your clutch bell. Uh, you, there's a little washer, so be careful not to lose that. And uh, while well, the screw's stuck in there, it's held in there by oil. And now you have your swinging two arm clutch assembly right here. This will have to come off next. With the clutch belt removed, the next thing to do is to take off that uh, swinging arm clutch shoe assembly. I use a uh, soft mallet and I hit it about right here. It's already loose. I've already uh, had that taken off. It just simply comes off just like this. Uh, make sure you don't lose this washer on the back here. This goes towards the flywheel side. I've already loosened these four nuts right here. These are T25 nuts. 
and the whole assembly comes off just like that there's your pull start assembly and this is now your flywheel assembly right here with the uh, there's a sleeve don't lose the sleeve that goes right here this this uh, is what bounces out and centers it along this shroud the next step I'm doing now is uh, having a look at the magneto uh, everything looks like it's in good order I'm gonna have to get a feeler gauge to see and measure how much space I have between that point right there and the magnet which is on the flywheel and also right up here you can't see it very well the uh, the lights not permeating through where I need to show you but you kind of get the point when it comes to measuring the gap distance between the magneto and uh, and the uh, the magnet on the flywheel itself uh, also done the check on the kill switch and uh, it's it seems okay it's not giving a it's not giving a premature short to uh, to kill the power to the engine uh, so next step that will probably lead, next uh, next lead me to what might be the problem with this uh, this engine and it's the carburation and I'll have to get this off here I'll get a screwdriver to do that the carburetor is really simple to to get out all you have to do is get yourself a regular screwdriver pry up here there's your uh, there's your choke valve right there that's full choke position partial choke here's the carburetor itself I have to do some uh, you have to take a T25 to undo these these two screws right here to dismount the screw uh, to dismount the carburetor. You also have to undo this hose back here. This is your PCV from the crankcase, or you know also functions as an EGR. I don't know if you can see that in a, in this poor light, but. The valve inside is a rotary type valve for this carburetor. As this is as this is turned, I don't know if you can see that with the light there. It's really hard to see the part moving inside, but that is a rotary valve carburetor. So my next step is to is to probably rebuild this carburetor in addition to replacing the spark plug 